Which one? And I think you know exactly why I'm here. Her body was found in an alley. That didn't take long. You think I killed Angela, right? Based on what? The fact that some prejudiced cop told you I did? So you did know already? Your detective friend called, told me to sit tight and wait for you. So here I am, sitting tight, being cooperative. Where were you tonight? I was out killing Angie, doing whatever it is they did to her. That's what you think, isn't it? I think you're a legitimate suspect. Unless you cooperate and offer some good answers. I think a jury may see it that way, too. Jury? <laughs> you think hogs get juries in this city? I think that's fucking hilarious. Write that in your uh, little uh, report. Johnny finds me fucking hilarious. I don't write reports. Well, take note of this anyway. I wouldn't hurt Angela. And I don't want to know anything about her murder or the investigation. Why not? Because if I knew who did it, I might be tempted to kill them. And I don't do that anymore. I still need to know where you were. In my apartment. Alone. No one but the cockroaches can confirm or deny shit. Convenient, right? Is that a bell tower patch on your jacket? Yeah. So? Let's just say I'm familiar with bell tower. What does that mean? Familiar how? I'm familiar with their retirement plan. Looks like they're treating you real well, Johnny. Fuck you. I was a New South Wales man. Hell, I'm still there. Probably gonna spend the rest of my life trying to get out. See, this is the price a man pays to no longer take orders. And something tells me you're not paying it. Australia. You were there during the Civil War? That's right. And that was only the beginning. Not my first mm. choice, believe me, but... Uh... Bell Tower wasn't all that big on choice. Send you where they want, make you do what they want, replace parts of you whenever and however they want. I didn't choose to be augmented either. Not when it first happened. Apparently we're supposed to be grateful. Alloy's so much better than skin, right? At least, that's how they sold it to me. For some things it is. Not for everything. I can walk through fire. But sand won't stick between my toes. I can shove a knife through my hand. But I can't trust what I feel. Even my dreams are made of alloy. Both of your hands are made of alloy? Fingers are for human beings, Mr. Gunn. What you have is so much greater. <laughs> and then they told me what they want me to do, and what would happen to me if I didn't. Well, let me tell you something. That's not me anymore. It hasn't been for a very long time. They found a partial print on Angela's neck. Belongs to whoever strangled her. My hands were designed to kill in wars no one's ever heard of. I couldn't leave a trace on someone's skin, even if I wanted to. They did it so you could kill better. So I'd never get caught. Ironic, right? Being a good killer is probably what saves me here. Or, you still think I killed Angela? I'm sorry for what Bell Tower did to you. Don't be. They gave me tools they want me to have. That it was in their interest for me to have. But the decision to use them? That was all me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd very much like to be left alone.
hundred-year-old linen and times of war. Truth is... Bottles of beer on the wall all night, and bottles of beer. Tomorrow, if there is a tomorrow. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall all night, and bottles of beer. You got me mixed up with someone else. Happens all the time. City run by criminals. Yep.
Anything unusual? Sure, we don't miss anything. Did you forget something? What's your position on arms? Officially, I think they are a menace to society. And unofficially, you're a real big fan of us, aren't you? 
some of us anyway. My position on Augs is nothing personal, if that's what you mean. Like I said, I am a servant of the people. Their desires are my desires. Their prejudices, my prejudices. I'm talking about your desires. The ones depicted in that photo. Very artistic. That picture is private. Who are you? See, I think your position on Augs is a little more complex than you've been letting on. Apparently, Ivanka has footage of what you were doing tonight. I'm trying to convince those Aug sisters to vote for you, is that it? What do you want? Unlike everyone else you seem to know, I'm not trying to blackmail you. I just want to know who murdered that woman tonight. Wish I could help you, but as you can see, I was busy with something else, of which there is ample video evidence. You're not going to tell anyone, are you? Your hypocritical private life isn't my concern right now. I just want to know who was in that alley tonight. It wasn't me. Now, if you want to keep slinging mud at poor Radko Perry, go right ahead. But as far as I'm concerned, you know I'm not a killer. Well, that's for me to decide, Radko. We scared them straight. By the way, I told Daria to go home. I really don't think she saw anything. I think I'm finally ready to shed some light on Angela Gunn's murder. That's good news. My bosses are eager to know why I haven't arrested Johnny yet. The truth is, we're not even close. Not yet. Why do you say that? What about Johnny? The more I think about all this, the more I can't shake the feeling. Johnny Gunn killed his wife. This was the work of a harvester copycat. This isn't some domestic dispute gone horribly wrong. It's part of something bigger. Someone's out there pretending to be a dead serial killer. I see you looked into that old case I pointed you toward. The M.O. is a perfect match. I read the notes and I compared them to this murder. The two victims were killed by the same person, I'm sure of it. All right, let's say that's true. That doesn't necessarily exclude Johnny. It just means he's killed more than one person. Look, I'm just telling you what I found. For a while, I thought it might be Radko Perry. That maybe he was behind all of this. That wasn't right either. What makes you so sure? I pretended to be Radko during a text messaging conversation. Turns out he rented himself a couple of augmented girlfriends the night of the murder. He was with them the whole time. They got video that proves it and they're using it to blackmail him. Uh, the less I know about Radko's personal life, the better. What I meant was, what makes you so sure it can't be Johnny? Remember that partial print I found on the victim's throat? What about it? Johnny Gunn hasn't had fingerprints since the Australian Civil War. His hands are made of alloy. If he had strangled her, he wouldn't have left a smudge. 
alloy, huh? Shit. So, where does that leave us exactly? We followed the evidence we had. This is where it led us. You mean nowhere? I'm not sure exactly. I think a lot of the pieces are there. They're just not ready to be put together. Not yet. All right. That should be enough for me to get the rope off Johnny's neck. But it doesn't help me solve anything, does it? I mean, unless we learn more, there's no one I can drag in for this. Let's just hope learning more doesn't mean having to meet over another dead body. It's quiet. Too quiet. Intel, who do they think they are? You did see something, right? Pull it together! 